constant and the gravitational constant is variable. Wait a second. Will you just give me a chance? Harassment's a federal crime, Mr. Crockett! Maybe H equals the Hamiltonian operator. What did you just say? I said maybe H equals the... Hamiltonian operator? Yeah! Great Scott! If H is a Hamiltonian, then H to the A multiplied by the inverse of H can only be the same as the expectation value for A! <laughs> That's it! That's the solution to Ivanov's conundrum, the problem I've been wrestling with in my head all week! I'm sure you would have figured it out by yourself in a day or two. The way you figured out how to build that rocket power drill. Where did you learn so much about science? Well, it's like this. You know about my rocket power drill? Then there can only be one explanation. What? You're from the patent office! I confess I didn't quite know what to expect when I sent the paperwork, but I never expected this. Welcome! I'm at your service. What can I do for you? Can I see your rocket power drill? Of course, of course! Naturally, it's just a scale model, but it's nearly operational. I can show it to you, say, first thing in the morning? Ah, that's no good. I need to see a full-size model. <gasps> that's fully operational. <gasps> Tonight. <gasps> Otherwise, we'll have to award the patent to a competing inventor, uh, Dr. McCoy. It can't be done! I mean, it might be possible to construct a full-size working model in that time frame, but I haven't got the main ingredient for the fuel. I'll get it for you. What is it? 190 proof grain alcohol. And you know how difficult it is to get a hold of alcohol these days. Especially now that someone's blown up the speakeasy. And besides, there's no way I can get off work until I've delivered the subpoena. It's part of the investigation into the business affairs of Kid Tannen. Is it vitally important you see that rocket power drill today? Yes. Is it vitally important you deliver that subpoena today? Yes! Listen, I'll help you deliver it, and I'll see to what you get the alcohol you need. <laughs> It'll help you get that drill finished by tonight. Deal? Deal! Here's the subpoena. I've got a subpoena my grandpa. <gasps> it's Kid Tannen! Hey, I, I just saw him at the soup kitchen, yelling at Arthur McFly. I'm not surprised. Arthur does the books for his business. What kind of business? That's what the DA is trying to find out. Let's go talk to him. No! Why not? Kid Tannen can tell us where Arthur's hiding. Yeah, well, he can also have us fitted for a Chicago overcoat. What the hell matches? You you got kiwi all over my socks! Sorry, boss. Get out of here. How about you? Huh? I'm sitting at a shoe shine booth. You walk up. Either you're here to shine my shoes, or you got a death wish. Which is it? I'm looking for a guy named Arthur McFly. He's my, uh, sort of a relative. Well, he's my employee. He's very busy today. Since you're Arthur's boss, you know where he is, right? He's at the, uh, office. Where's the office? I forget. Isn't that Arthur McFly's hat you're holding? It was McFly's hat. Now, it's my peanut bowl. <laughs> Can I have some peanuts? Why not? I'm a magnanimous kind of guy. Go ahead, knock yourself out. Hey, kid! Yeah? What the hell is that? Hey! What did you do? Oh. <clears throat> Give me that hat, you lousy crook! Emmett!
Nobody makes a monkey out of Kid Tannen! Ow! Fix me up! Where'd you learn how to move like that? Sandlot football. They used to call me the streak. Get out! A cue ball. What? The truck just arrived with a fresh shipment of, uh, soup. Soup? Soup? Well, uh, this is the regular soup, and this is the special soup. Right. Special. Hey, what are you doing? I'm spicing up the soup. It's my secret recipe. Listen, this ain't the Savoy, and we ain't here to feed these bozos no fancy soup. The boss has got a business to rebuild, so knock off the goofing and mind your post. All right, all right, just try the soup. Well? Ah, I can see why you want to keep this a secret. Huddle up, Emmett. Huddle? Just listen up for a second. Obviously this kitchen isn't the speakeasy. Indeed. This must be some sort of front meant to cleverly and legally obfuscate the existence of a hidden establishment of ill repute. Perhaps in the basement. Right. That might explain the elevator. We'll score that hooch somehow. I'll keep cogitating. There's no way I'm going to keep that door open without some help. Emmett. Yes? Emmett, I can't get into the door over there. Those tables are jamming it shut. The door? So your plan is to just waltz in there and take a barrel of alcohol? Uh, no. Uh, of course not. That would be stupid, right? I'll say. Still, I'd like to get that door open. I can't do anything from out here. Well, it's a simple matter of physics. A lever, some sort of stop. Let me see what I can come up with. Eureka! Emmett. Yes? Oh, that's interesting. Just a little mechanical ingenuity. In the end, the door is open. Yeah, good job. We'll score that hooch somehow. I'll keep cogitating. Pretty neat, Doc. <laughs> nope. I'm still not getting through here. But at least those tables are propped up now.
Uh, excuse me. Yeah? Did I have a bowl of soup? You're a soup kitchen. What do you think? What kind of soup is this? It tastes like... Scrolle Ribolita? I was gonna say weak old cabbage. Everyone's a critic. Look, all I got to work with is this two-bit soup in a barrel and spice rack that hadn't been restocked since the Coolidge administration. What do you think I should do to perk this slop up? Let's see. Have you tried... Paprika? Paprika? Uh, I, I just think it could use a little uh, color. Color? Hmm. Ah, Miss Strickland, come for some more soup? Come now, Mr. Donnelly. You know I wouldn't set one foot in this mockery of all that is good and decent if the poor of Hill Valley weren't so dependent on Mr. Tennant's overblown show of generosity. Was that a yes? Just give me the soup before I gag on the hypocrisy. I'll tell the boss you said hello. I'll just bet you will. And they picked up the barrel of hooch. Now all I have to do is to get it from her somehow. <laughs> 